Welcome to the I Ching Cafe. My name is Belinda Davison. Thank you for joining me for our first full weekly episode of the I Ching for the week commencing the 6th of November 2023. If you have not yet done so, go and check out the monthly overview for November, giving us focus for the whole month, where we can really tune in our energy to the flow of change taking place all around us. Last week, quick recap, we had Hexagram 46 pushing upwards again. Okay, the energy come back to greet us, to get us to go, 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 go. With two wonderful changing lines talking about connections and being recognized and finding our moment and then our pushing forward, right? Not just upwards, pushing forwards with hexagram 34, great power. A power week where we had the opportunity to burst through and transform by growing, growing, growing and putting in the energy of getting somewhere magnificent in the week. I cannot tell you how evident this was in my life where I just knew I have to push through this opportunity. I had to seize the moment and I took action, even though I didn't want to, and I took action and the results were miraculous. Speed of delivery from the universe. Amazing. So for you, was there something that came up for you in the week of how the effort, the sweating effort of growing and in putting in the energy of pushing forwards without being the bully, how that brought returns and opportunities to you in the week that just passed? So... This week, what is the I Ching ask us to pay attention to as we dial in our radios, right? And we dial into the collective unconscious, right? What are we all working through at this time, the cycle of change for this coming week? Well, you know how I love these synchronicities, right? So we've just had the monthly episode come out where the whole month is hexagram 33. What do you think our first hexagram is for this week, the 6th of November? Hmm. Hexagram 33, retreat, with one changing line shared in common. So bizarre, so bizarre. So as we work with this week, right, we have to understand that when we see these cycles of like the monthly has the same hexagram and then we have this one and it's like it's really connecting us into the theme of the month, okay? So it's almost like dialing us in, tuning us in, giving us a boost of energy as we start the month of this hexagram 33 retreat energy. So I do encourage that you watch the monthly because that'll give you a different perspective, a different facet of this idea. So we spoke for the monthly about this idea of playing the game of chess, right? And understanding where strategic retreat is necessary. Okay, where we are up against something that is not for us. I had a situation where I had volunteered for something months back, okay, and as this week started up, as November started up, so we had this doubling of energy, I suddenly woke up and I thought, that's not for me. I actually can't affect change. I can't bring my best self to this situation. And actually, I'm going to leave it for now, but what I am going to do is I'm going to try and find a way of extricating myself from this commitment, okay. And so that was a process and example that maybe for you it's one particular thing, you know, connecting to this whole idea of the whole of November where retreat is the energy. This week, we might find that there's kind of a bit of a clue, right? A clue as to that November energy as a whole, a startup or a connection to where that retreat, where we can dial into that retreat energy. If you're feeling like, I don't know, I don't know where, you know, what's you know, not good for me at the moment, just let this week inspire you. You don't have to hunt down the retreat because the fact that you already got this idea of 33 retreat sitting there and kind of bubbling away, right? It's already starting to bring and tune you and your energy into what's going on. That's what we're doing. We're tuning into the radio station. So you don't have to hunt it down. You just stay open, okay? You will see the moment. You will understand what it is you're needing to retreat from. You don't have to hunt it down. Okay. So as we work with this week, we are perhaps getting a little taster of where we are faced something, where we are involved in something, where our energy is tied into something. It might be a small little thing, but you know, wherever our energy is locked into a process that's either not for us or we just don't have the capacity 
to deliver on the mandate or we just don't have the energy to do well or we just it puts us under too much pressure you know bear in mind our hexagram for november we think about those things and we reflect on those things because where our energy is tied up in those things means our energy isn't available for other things right we must use this opportunity to liberate our energy okay and so retreat stepping back okay rethinking reevaluating licking the wounds maybe but more importantly understanding that that retreat is not failure as i said in the monthly it is strategic wisdom when on the game board you choose to withdraw and reevaluate and reposition and pivot into a new strategy okay that's what this is asking us to pay attention to something is not quite working so as we work with this week right we also have two changing lines like we had for the monthly but there are one shared and one new okay we also have changing line two okay like we do for the whole month of november and we have line five okay instead of line six so line two let's recap that's all about the hangers on okay we're trying to retreat and we're trying to move to a better place okay and get ourselves out of the situation that we're in and we are weighed down by all the hangers on who are trying to retain you okay your energy or what it is that you're doing holding on to you holding on to all of our ankles to prevent us moving forward because they're getting something out of us right and we realized, oh, this crowd, uh-uh, <laughs> this, is, this is not getting us anywhere. We need to find better prospects. And so we try to move. And they know that their well-being is dependent on things staying the way they were, okay? And they're hanging on. So you can apply this in a business context of you're trying to move on from a strategic alliance, okay? Or some kind of partnership or some kind of relationship in a business sense. And they will have none of it because they're actually getting all the benefit. So they'll hang on and hang on and hang on. In a personal sense, you can imagine that you're trying to perhaps leave a relationship or leave a friendship or leave a community that you just want to retreat from. And they are trying all the tricks to try and keep you locked in. Okay, that's the idea we're trying to dial into and work with. As for the monthly, our strategy here with this line is to persevere and keep moving forward. Despite the effort, despite the energy, oh, drag, 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 all these people holding on, eventually they'll lose their grip. Okay, just persevere in that. So in changing line position five, now you remember from the monthly, we had changing line six, which is suddenly you reach a point where you're free of the bonds. You're free to leave. You can just cast off those shackles. I'm free. Okay, so that's changing line six. Here we have changing line five, and changing line five is different in that it says the superior person, the wise person, the master, is tuned into the right moment <laughs> to run, okay, to retreat, to get out of it. So changing line five says what we are tuning our minds into this week is we are listening and we are paying attention for the right moment where we can retreat in the right way, where it's friendly. Okay. And so what this talks about is that there's a moment that comes where that opportunity to disconnect creates the space to do so in a way that the other party or what you're retreating from says, oh, okay, I get it. Yeah, I can see how that's beneficial to both of us. It's okay. It's fine. And the retreat can happen because... We have found the right moment. We have found the right way at the right time in the right place to shift that. And so the retreat is friendly. Okay. There isn't antagonism and negative stuff because it's done just in that right moment where the disconnect can happen. Okay. That's what we have to tune into for this week. Outcome hexagram, obviously not the same because we have one difference in changing line. How weird would it be if we had exactly the same outline for this week? But we have hexagram 50, the cauldron, a beautiful hexagram, a man-made symbol of the cooking pot, the Dutch oven, sitting on the flames, being fed by the fire at the bottom, right? And our task is we put in all the ingredients into the pot, into the cauldron, and we put the lid on and we just let it boil and we let it bubble, okay? Not double, double toil and trouble, right? We are positively creating magic 
in this cauldron. And this hexagram is so interesting because it talks about this idea of the alchemical transformational process. Things are turning over and slowly cooking over. The heat is not burning furiously, this meal, right? It's transforming it. We put raw ingredients in. And what comes out is this meal. It's delicious. Things are cooked and cooked down and got flavor. And, oh, it's delicious. And what we do is we feed the tribe. Everyone gathers around the cauldron. When it's ready, then it comes off. And everyone gets to share a meal. So with this cauldron, the idea is that we are transforming. There's a process of magic happening of something transforming under the surface all right and we need to feed the fire and we need to hold the space for it and we need to chew it over and let the change and transformation turn over gently because what we do when we open that lid on that cauldron is we then can feed others we can serve others we can nourish our community so how do we put these ideas together right there's the opportunity this week to be victorious through the transformation journey, we are willing to hold and care for and nurture, okay? Our work is important. What's happening in this pot or this cauldron is important because it helps other people. We have to bear in mind that is where our focus is, is in bringing nourishment to others. We have to realize that in order to do that, in order to be victorious in this transformation journey of what the magic, the magic that's happening in this cauldron we have to retreat from things that are not right for us right now. We have to be wise enough to know that moment to make that shift, right? And to persevere even if you have hangers on clinging to you for dear life. That is what the week is asking us to dial into. And given this kind of duplicate energy of retreat, it's almost like, hey, attention, important, important, now, now, now. Now is the week. <laughs> so happy chess playing, happy strategizing. Think about retreat and your transformation journey as being strategic, that there are times to withdraw and reevaluate and move the pieces in a different direction and having the courage to pivot the game when you realize going down the path you are on is not going to lead you to where you want to get to. Thank you so much for being here with me. If this was valuable to you, as you know, like would be really great. And of course, subscribe and follow if you'd like to get notifications of new episodes as they land. And I really, I really value you being here with me in the conversations we have together as an I Ching community. Really awesome. Thank you for growing with me. And I look forward to seeing you soon at our next weekly overview. Okay.